welcome to today's discussion on India's trade position and Crystal's views on exports. Mr. Joshi, India's current account deficit looks good at less than 2% of GDP. Why is it that we worry about exports? What is happening there? Well, I think you're right that the current account deficit has come down and it's in the safe zone for almost three years now. But uh, there are definitely worry beads on the export front. The export growth in the last fiscal year, which is 2014-15, was minus 1.5%. And in the first two months of this fiscal year, April and May, we've seen more than minus 16% dip in exports. I think that's a cause of concern. Oh, so is the export slowdown structural or cyclical? What are your views? Well, I think uh, uh, let's look at, also look at the reasons behind the slowdown in exports. I think there are three reasons. One is that the export markets are not experiencing very high growth. I think particularly the Asian markets and the European markets are weak. Uh, the export growth to U.S. as well as to U.A.E. have been good. So I think there's a mix of, uh, mix, there are mixed trends, but uh, overall I think there is, a, there is a weak global environment. So that is responsible for, uh, for, for ex uh, weak export growth. Second reason is that the prices of some of the commodities have dipped very sharply, like petroleum products and many other commodities. So the dollar value of exports dips even though the volume might not have dipped. So I think that's another reason. And third is that the rupee, in measured in terms of uh, uh, RER, which is which measures the currency competitiveness, I think that has shown some appreciation and that is not good for exports. So I think a combination of these three factors have led to decline in exports. And as far as the structural versus uh, cyclical is concerned, I think it's largely cyclical, but there are structural elements also there. Because what's happening in the global trade environment is that the even though the world GDP growth picks up, the trade doesn't pick up that well. So the trade intensity of global growth is coming down, and that's one of the reasons why the Asian economies haven't seen a kick to their growth, despite the fact that U.S. is, is recovering. So I think there is there is uh, the transmission of global growth into trade is, has weakened somewhat. So that's 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 something that we need to uh, uh, to explore further to see if it is actually a structural shift taking place there. And then on top of that, the India's competitiveness measured from revealed uh, comparative anal uh, analysis, I think that is also showing uh, uh, that things are not looking that good. Uh, so we are losing competitiveness in some of the exporting categories. Categories. So I think these things make it uh, make make the the dip structural, and what it means is even if the global growth picks up, the exports are not going to pick up the, in the same way. Sure. So what should India do now going ahead? Well, I think in the short term, I think it has to facilitate trade, it has to give credit, etc., and in, in reasonable terms. But I think from a long-term perspective, you have to make your manufacturing competitive so that you can uh, compete with the rest of the world. Uh, the second thing that you need to do is uh, there are these trading agreements coming up like the Trans-Pacific Partnership where India is not a part of it. Now TPP uh, is about 40% of our export market and if we are not a part of it, we risk losing that export market. So we need to forge more relationships with other economies so that I think uh, trade relationships so that we, we uh, get into the, uh, into the cycle of uh, higher export growth. And then I think the third thing which we, we need to do is I think we need to move from low value added stuff to high value added stuff. And I think that will be, that will be possible only when we improve the manufacturing climate in the economy, which is both through regulatory changes as well as through logistical improvements, etc. Right. Thank you very much for your comments, Mr. Joshi. And thank you for watching Crystal TV.